Visual repetition is ubiquitous in the world around us. In this work, we consider the task of estimating repetition in video under realistic circumstances. We revisit the theory of periodic motion. Starting from the 3D motion field tied to a moving object, we use first-order differential analysis to arrive at nine fundamental cases of periodic motion. Our method requires no learning, but rather builds on the theoretical insights. Different from existing work, we are able to handle non-stationary repetitions such as accelerations and non-static motion. We propose a new video dataset and show that our method outperforms existing work on the task of repetition counting. The starting point for a theory is the 3D motion field. We follow a first-order differential approach using the operators divergent, gradient and curl to arrive at the categorization of periodic motion types. Specifically, the spatial differential operators divergent and curl give rise to three periodic motion types, translation, rotation, and expansion. And in a similar fashion, three periodic motion continuities emerge from the temporal differential operator, being constant, intermittent, and oscillating motion. Together, the motion types and motion continuities organize in a Cartesian table of nine fundamental cases of periodicity. Here we present the abstractions of the flow field, and the corresponding real-world examples. For the intermittent and oscillating case, the periodicity is intrinsic in the temporal dynamics, whereas for constant motion to appear as periodic, a repetitive appearance is required. For 2D video, the viewpoint location relative to the moving object needs to be considered. We show that two viewpoint extremes, being side and frontal, span the continuous range. On top of the nine cases in 3D, this produces 18 cases of repetitive appearance in 2D. In practice, the appearance may be somewhere in between those viewpoint extremes. Our method for repetition estimation uses motion localization and filtering. To handle non-static video, we first perform motion segmentation using a state-of-the-art method. We then represent the salient moving object by six first-order motion maps, including the divergence, gradient, and curl, of which only four out of six are shown here. Next, the representations are max pooled over the segmentation mask to produce six time varying one dimensional signals. We use the continuous wavelet transform to decompose these signals into time frequency spectra and estimate non stationary repetitive for each of them. Here we show six wavelet spectra for an example video. The vertical flow and curl produce the strongest response as expected. We evaluate on the task of repetition counting as a count remains meaningful in the presence of non-stationarity. And in this example, the acceleration of the rower after a couple seconds clearly shows up in the wavelet spectrum as a drop in the motion period with the strongest power. To evaluate our method and compare to the state of the art, we propose the new CUVA repetition dataset. Our dataset consists of 100 videos displaying a wide variety of repetitive actions. Different from existing datasets, we include more videos with non-stationarity and non-static appearances. On the challenging Cuba repetition dataset, our method outperforms all existing approaches. For more information, we refer to our conference paper to be presented at CVPR 2018. Thank you.